வெல்கம் டு ஏடிசிஎம் த எமர்ஜென்சி மெடிசின் சேனல் டுடே லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் சூனோட்டிக் டிசீஸ் தட் இஸ் ப்ரூசலோசிஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் ஆண்டுலன் ஃபீவர் மால்டா ஃபீவர் ஜிப்ரால்டர் ஃபீவர் மெட்ரேனியன் ஃபீவர் ஸோ மெனி நேம்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஃபார் திஸ் டிசீஸ் பட் காமன்லி இட் இஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் ப்ரூசலோசிஸ் இட்ஸ் அ சூனோட்டிக் டிசீஸ் and it is transmitted to human beings by contact with fluids from infected animals infected animals may be sheep cattle goat pigs and other animals like camel etc so different organisms are there militancies sheep goat camels are the reservoirs abortus cattle buffalo may be the reservoir of of this condition suis rodents canis dogs or is sheep sometimes the animals may not have any visible clinical findings but they can infect the human being since many of these uh, animals are uh, living along with human being so in many parts of the countries especially third world countries uh, they have very close contact with human beings like sheep goat camels cattle buffalo so very close contacts with human beings so they can spread the disease very fast now the consumption of infected unpasteurized animal products like milk meat all these things can spread the disease especially dairy products raw milk soft cheese butter ice cream they are the most important uh, way of transmission of this disease contact of skin mucous membrane with infected animal tissues such as placenta miscarriage products infected animal fluids like blood urine milk inhalation of infected aerosol particles that also can be used as a bioterrorism method so there are different means of transmission so in that most important is uh, uh, the consumption of products which are infected or not cooked in, uh, products which are not in cooked pop- properly so that can spread the disease very fast endemic areas of brucellosis are countries like mediterranean uh, area middle east area central asia china india some uh, states in india it is very very common where the sheep and cattle are very commonly uh, seen sub saharan africa mexico south america this can produce a wide spectrum of disease in that most important is ambulating fever fever persists for several weeks then an febrile period followed by relapse associated with night sweats that is undulating fever but most of these patients present to uh, departments like internal medicine with pyrexia of unknown origin with joint pains so many days patient can have fever when they take paracetamol it subsides then some days patient may not have any fever again fever come back there will not there will not be any po- uh, clinical investigation uh, positivity in that patient because a high index of suspicion is required to diagnose brucellosis so brucellosis is the one of the important disease which can present as fever with arthralgia and arthritis now musculoskeletal problems are myalgia weakness arthritis is very important mono mono articular joint involvement is very important polyarticular also can be there knee hip shoulder sacroiliac joint sternoclavicular joint osteomyelitis also can occur in some patients almost all other organs in our body can be involved here patient can have pneumonia lung abscess lymphadenopathy hepatosplenia magidi megaly orchitis epidema orchitis salpingitis prostatitis pyelonephritis lymphocytic meningoencephalitis endocarditis so almost all organs including cell- skeletal system can be involved it is like something like tuberculosis tuberculosis also have uh, long term mild fever evening rise uh, night sweating uh, weight loss 
multi organ involvement here also it is like that so almost similar clinical findings you can get, get. but uh, tuberculosis most of the time we get lung lesions but here most of the time we don't get lung lesion most of the time patient present with PUO with joint pains now osteoarticular disease is the most common form of focal brucellosis that is very important 70% of the patients with brucellosis can have focal osteoarticular changes like arthritis single joint involvement is very very important sacroiliitis spondylitis sacroiliitis can be there in many patients uh, knee hip ankle joints can be involved in patients who is having peripheral arthritis Sacroiliitis is up to 80% of those with the osteoarticular disease can have sacroiliitis. Uh, spinal joints also can be involved in many patients. Spondylitis, especially lumbar spondylitis and psoas abscess also seen in many patients. So, in many patients who is presenting with fever with single joint pain in the peripheral uh, joints, but in that patients, we have to take a detailed history whether the patient is having spondylitis, especially in the lumbar area or not. Because the treatment of uh, spondylitis is prolonged than peripheral arthritis. Now, there are other causes for septic arthritis also we should know that. Because uh, many patients will present with septic arthritis. But uh, on evaluation, you can see some of the uh, patients can have uh, culture positivity in uh, some of these bacteria in their joints but same patients you can see uh, brucella also can be positive so brucella produces initial joint inflammation in that secondary infection can occur due to many other bacteria but however septic arthritis there are lot of other organisms also involved like gram negative organism and uh, staphylococcus streptococcal nisseria uh, Nisseria gonorrhea uh, and mycobacterial tuberculosis. All these things also can uh, present with joint involvement. Uh, Lyme disease is another important joint involvement disease. It is very common in uh, American uh, subcontinent, not very common in India. But brucellosis is very, very common in many states in India. Now, synovial fluid analysis will be done in all patients who is having septic arthritis. So, septic arthritis can present with monoarticular involvement. You can have monoarticular swelling, uh, pain, tenderness, redness. Patient can have fever with chills. All clinical features will be there. If you aspirate the fluids, you can see here patient can have uh, elevated WBC count. So, uh, 9000. Uh, to 90,000, 10,000 to 90,000 counts can be there. Most of them are uh, neutrophils and it is predominantly seen in the knee joint involvement. Now, once you uh, suspect brucella, then we have to ask for uh, antibody test that is brucella IgM. So, initially brucella IgM will be positive when there is an active disease. When the disease subsides, you can see uh, Brucella IgM declines and IgG and IgA elevates. So, we can ask for both uh, Brucella IgM and IgG uh, in clinical suspicion. If it is uh, uh, IgM is positive, then it is an active uh, disease, uh, ongoing disease. IgG is positive in a patient who had joint involvement, then you have to suspect uh, partially treated or uh, naturally subsided brucellosis induced arthritis and you can also culture uh, blood CSF bone marrow joint aspiration for brucella but it is a very difficult process so we do not try it in clinical practice. Uh, standard agglutination test is another test polymerase chain uh, reaction is very very important uh, from both uh, aspira aspirations and pus you can uh, send a PCR test. Now, once you diagnose uh, uh, brucellosis, then treatment is very important because uh, uh, because uh, you can uh, treat this brucellosis for a, uh, it requires a longer period. You can give streptomycin. There is a first line treatment. Uh, IM can be given 750 milligram to one gram for 21 days, or you can use gentamicin instead of uh, this uh, streptomycin. 
doxycycline 100 mg bd should be added for 6 weeks that is a preferred regime so doxycycline can be added to aminoglycoside alternative regimes are rifampicin with doxycycline fluoroquinolone with doxycycline or in pregnant lady you can go for rifampicin with uh, septran or bactrim ds or uh, uh, septran with rifampicin in children uh, neuro uh, brucellosis also you have to uh, treat the patient with doxycycline rifampicin with ceftriaxone or septran spondylitis the treatment is prolonged around 12 weeks we have to give spondylitis neurobrucellosis again 12 weeks we have to give doxycycline plus rifampicin should be given ceftriaxone can be added to that regime first 4 to 6 weeks ceftriaxone can be given then endocarditis uh, again uh, you can give aminoglycoside plus rifampicin and doxycycline for 12 weeks so a prolonged treatment is required in a patient who is having uh, spondylitis or uh, involvement of brain or involvement of heart so we have discussed about one of the important zoonotic arthritis disease so when we discuss about brucellosis normally we think that it is only presenting with pyrexia of unknown origin it is not like that if you follow up the cases you will understand that many of these patients will have a joint involvement either in the perifer peripheral joint or in the spinal uh, joint so patient can have spondylitis patient can have peripheral arthritis in the larger joints they present like uh, septic arthritis that is a problem and if when you are taking uh, uh, sample from that culture you get some other organism uh, will be grown in that uh, pus because they are uh, uh, they are actively and uh, freely grown in culture medias brucellosis uh, it is very difficult to grow in culture but whenever we are suspecting uh, brucellosis like patient who is uh, exposed lot of cattle cows camels then we have to send the brucella igm in a uh, case who is having peripheral arthritis if it is positive we have to treat for brucellosis also because septic arthritis sometimes the bacteria may be something else a gram negative organism we have to treat the gram negative organism according to culture reports and that itself will take uh, six to uh, uh, six weeks more than six weeks and along with if brucella igm is positive we have to also treat for brucellosis that also takes longer time six weeks or 12 weeks in uh, spondylitis should be given thank you